This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow. <laughs> Just kidding. This video is sponsored by Cellart's SCP themed playing cards. Next time you've got friends over, ditch the old boring playing cards and bust out these awesome SCP cards instead. These playing cards are printed on high quality paper and feature distinct backgrounds for each suit. On top of that, every Jack, Queen, King, and Joker in the deck has its own unique SCP illustration. The artwork on these things is truly top notch and features some of your favorite SCPs like 049, 035, and 106. Right now, Cellart has two packs to choose from. I went ahead and got both of them so I could check them out myself and I am genuinely impressed. I think you guys will be too. Follow the link in the description to the official website and get yourself a deck or two of SCP playing cards now. Item number, SCP-3177. Object class, safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-3177 is to be stored in a standard anomalous object containment locker. Level 2 clearance is required to remove SCP-3177 from its locker and allow viewing. Should personnel unintentionally come under the effects of SCP-3177, they are to seek immediate amnestic treatment. Description SCP-3177 is a cardboard cutout of American actor Steve Buscemi, standing 1.8 meters tall. SCP-3177's anomalous abilities only become relevant when a subject is able to visually comprehend SCP-3177 after witnessing a murder. Subjects who meet these requirements believe that SCP-3177 was responsible for the murder, and report witnessing them performing the act, regardless of the means of murder. A subject does not need to witness both the murderer and the victim, only the victim dying. A subject who witnesses a victim dying without seeing the murderer is able to recall SCP-3177 committing the act itself, regardless of any events which happened that might contradict this memory. For example, a subject who witnesses a victim being poisoned would recall SCP-3177 giving the victim poison through whichever vessel it was delivered. Currently, no time limit has been discovered between witnessing the murder and interacting with SCP-3177. However, amnestic treatment has been shown to reverse this process. Addendum 3177-01 The following interview is between Dr. Robert Doney and D-30044, who was previously convicted for the murder of a family in Virginia. Begin Log Dr. Doney all right, D-30044, I have a few questions about something that happened a while back. We've gotten word that you were present during the murder of the family back in September of 2000. D-30044 leans back in his chair. Oh, yes, yes. Fucking hated those greedy wastes of space. Obviously not a fan then, I see. If you could remain as impartial as you could when describing what happened, it would, uh, it's going to make it easier for me, personally. Oh, of course. If you want to know what happened, it starts with an interesting coincidence. I was actually about to kill them myself, if you'd believe it. I had everything prepped and ready for the fun I was about to have. I intended to blow the brains out of that preppy kid first, and then torture the old fucks before finally ending their lives. Hmm, seems like you had quite the plan already. Why didn't you go through with it? Well, if you'd believe it, that man you introduced me to earlier, he was already there. Just as I was about to take aim at the kid with the shotgun I brought, he just pulled out his own shotgun and killed him before I could even pull the trigger. The cardboard cutout? Yes, I didn't believe it myself when I first saw it, and honestly, I was a bit upset that he got the shot off first. He didn't pay me much mind when I went over and unloaded a few more rounds into that man-child's corpse to make sure he was dead, so that much I appreciated. Mm-hmm. Dr. Doney is seen quietly writing on his clipboard before turning his attention back to D-30044. Right, sorry. Can you continue? 
Of course, as I was saying, I don't know where he went next, but he didn't get in the way when I went upstairs and tied up the parents. I had this whole routine practice, this big speech about greed and entitlement and how much pain they've inflicted on me and all the other people of- Each cut was supposed to be symbolic, one cut for every person who was suffering beneath their boots. I can't personally relate, but um... <clears throat> Uh, I, I think I understand what you were uh, trying to go for. Yes, so I got to work. I cut their tongues out first so they couldn't scream. Then I sawed off the fingers and toes in case they tried to escape. Then... Oh, I'm sorry. Did you want the details? I can go through the whole routine. I still have the speech memorized. D30044 is seen smiling to himself. Dr. Doni is seen covering his mouth with his hands. Ugh, please don't go into specific detail, for my sake, personally. Of course, my apologies. So, just as I'm about to finish the job, he comes back into the room. Out of nowhere he's there, and he looks just as angry at these people as I was. I figured I had my fun, so I offered him the knife. He took it gladly and just slashed their throats open, let them bleed out. I was impressed, truly, I was. A slow, excruciating death choking on their own blood was what they deserved. Then he simply gave me back the knife and left. Dr. Doni lowers his hands and picks up his pencil to write again. So it just killed them and left? Did you see where it went? Sadly, no. Shame though, I was the one arrested for it. I didn't even kill them, technically. But hey, at least you all found a way to lock him up, right? End log. Incident 3177 Enter level 4 credentials to access. Access granted. On September 28th, 2000, a large portion of site was destroyed due to what was believed to be a fault in the heating system. This resulted in the temporary breach of multiple anomalies as well as the deaths of. Foundation personnel. While interviewing a survivor of the accident, they reported witnessing SCP-3177 planting a high-grade explosive in the wing of the facility. Investigations regarding the incident are ongoing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis the Great, Lesby Friends, and Scrubversive. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.